and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video by Lawn Fawn. And uh, today we're going to be showcasing um, the first sneak peek of the November Lawn Fawn release. We have so much fun stuff going on over at the blog, so you have to check it out. LawnFawn.blogspot.com. There's a big giveaway where you can win all three stamps from this release. Um, and then there's um, a giveaway where you can win today's set too. Um, and we're going to keep having more giveaways throughout the week. So make sure you head on over every day. Um, today we're going to be sneak peeking the next set in our critter series. So, so far we have critters in the burbs, we have critters in the sea, and now we have critters in the snow. Um, and this set is so cute and fun. It's something that people have asked for and we're really excited about. So one of the first images I wanted to show you is my husband, Mr. Lon Fawn himself, uh, his favorite image from the set. And that is, as he calls it, this little fat squatty penguin. This little penguin is so cute. Um, I just love him so much. And the cool thing about this set is, even though it's snow critters, and, and technically, you know, for winter time, um, people love penguins. People love snow critters all year round. Um, that's why there's about 1700s penguin movies out there. So um, the penguins, I mean, you could use all of these images all year round, even though they're snow critters, just because um, you might have a friend whose favorite animal is a penguin, or maybe your friend's favorite animal is, um, is a bear, and you can use our polar bear. And the cool thing about the polar bear is um, you could leave him white, or a grayish white, for being a polar bear, but you could also color him in brown, gray, you could make him a grizzly bear, brown bear. Um, so he could kind of work all year round too. And this would kind of be nice for masculine cards. You could use a bear if, if uh, somebody really liked bears or camping, things like that. Um, one of the other fun things we've included in this set is um, this igloo, and I just love it because you know now the now the snow critters have a place to live, you know. <laughs> so um, this the cool thing about this is you can kind of do a perspective where it's kind of in the background, or you can just put the polar bear next to it, and I think it's just so cute trying to think of that polar bear to squeeze into the igloo. Um, and so this igloo is really cute, um, and I you know I just I just think it's adorable. Um, and we have some really fun sentiments in this set. Um, one of them is happy winter, um, just so that you have, you know, that sentiment. But another one is you're so cool. And this one you could obviously use all year round. And right underneath this igloo, I think it would be so cute to have the you're so cool right there. Um, and, and I think it, it's just, it's fun. It's punny. So, um, and I just like having this sentiment. I'm glad I have this sentiment now because you could do kind of everyday cards if someone's really done something nice for you or something with the you're so cool. Especially for like, you know, like a preteen or something like that. It could be really fun. We also included um, a couple snowflakes in this set so you can build um, little backgrounds for your snow critters or you could use them on their own too. It's always nice to have snowflake images. So they're just nice little snowflakes that you can kind of have going along your snow critters like that. So that's really fun. There's actually four, there's actually four snowflake images in this set. And, uh, and there's a lot of other critters too. But I want to show you all of them. I want you to see, you just have to just check out the, the design team samples. They're so awesome. But one of the big things I want to show you is we are doing something that everybody has asked for. And what has everybody asked for? A deer. Everybody's wanted a deer from us. So what we did was we created a Francois. A lot of people, um, you know, France, the, the deer's name and the deer and the logo's name is Francois. So um, we created a grown up. Oh, I got a little ink on there. Um, a grown up Francois. So he's got antlers and he's jumping through the air and I just love him. And the cool thing is, is you could make Francois a Rudolph. You know, right now for the holiday time by just taking, you know, a red marker or a red gem and coloring him right in. And now he's Rudolph. Or you could use um, all year round this deer because all you have to do is just keep his nose either black or brown so I love that he's jumping in the air um, I love the idea of creating um, this would be really cool on a scrapbook layout you could create um, all of Santa's reindeer Donner and Blitzen and Vixen and I can never remember all their names but um, you could do a really cute layout with that with Santa's so kind of having them all go through your layout um, They're just super cute, but as you see um, if you do a little brown nose on him He's just your all-year-round 
reindeer. So, um, you know, or, you know, not Christmas reindeer, but just deer. He could be jump, jumping, oh, there's Petter. He could be jumping through the forest, um, doing all these things. And so um, I just love him. He's all grown up and so cute. This is actually what everybody was thinking a pig was, was this reindeer cut off like this on the sneak peeks. My sneak peeks were impossible this time. Mike was saying they were too easy, so I made them harder, and now they're just too hard. So um, next time I'll make them a little easier. But uh, this this reindeer, I just love him, and he's perfect for paper piecing and uh, for Copic coloring. So cute. So um, I just, just think it's adorable. And uh, one of the things I wanted to show you was um, one of the other critters here this little seal and I, what I like about this seal is this seal could hang out with um, could go hang out with your sea critters too um, so I really like that but paper piecing this guy here's a piece of just some Cosmo Cricut um, I think it's their mitten weather line but you can see how cute and easy paper piecing this seal is and uh, you just cut them out oh. Better pair. I've got my sticky pair of scissors and my actual cutting pair. I don't know if you guys are the same way. But yeah, you could just cut them out. And the thing is about this is when I cut, I always think, move the paper, not the scissors. And I repeat that in my head. And I get a much smoother cut that way. Because I have to tell you, I'm, I'm not the best, um, you know, fussy cutter in the world here. So I just go around and I move that paper. And this is paper piecing. So, you know, everyone comes up with these fancy names for things. It's just stamping something on a piece of paper and, that has a pattern on it and cutting it out. <laughs> or even um, even without a pattern, you know, you could do textured cardstock or, or um, whatever as opposed to coloring. And it's really a fun alternative and it gives your product a, a project a different look. Um, especially maybe sometimes, sometimes I know I'm not in the mood for coloring. So I rather a paper piece and sometimes I really want to color. So it just depends. So I'm just gonna take them off the paper there and uh, finish cutting them up here. And let's see, and I can't wait for you guys to see the design team samples, they're so cool. Um, I'm so excited about them. Now I'm gonna show you for, for when I cut these guys that have the little eyelashes that stick out that we do, I actually cut off the eyelash um, and then I stamp them again on the paper and cut them that way, or you can just leave them without his little eyelash. Okay, so now we have our paper piece seal here, and I'm just gonna show you a quick little trick that I do uh, to make my cutout pieces kind of look like I perfectly cut them, because I never do. <laughs> so what I do is I take my a black Copic, but you could use any black marker, um, you know, with you know any Crayola, whatever would work that you like. And um, I'm a big fan of Crayola. <laughs> so, and I just go along the side of my image like this. And what it does is it takes away all those little mistakes where you kind of miss the line, or maybe cut the line a little too short and uh, and it really finishes it off and you're gonna see the difference here when I'm all done like right there I'm just filling in a little part where I cut it a little too wide and this is pretty easy to do you kinda just let it follow you know the curve of the of the little critter so I always look on the back and make sure I got all the lines you can see they're kinda outlined on the back and then look how much better he kind of pops off the page now, um, which I think is really cool. So just like that, he just kind of pops off. And um, I'll zoom in a little. I just love this little paper piece guy, so cute. And one thing you can do is if you really like that eyelash, um, that kind of sticks off. Because I, once I, every time I try to cut those off, it ends up just looking messy. So what I do is I stamp him right here and then I just add this piece with adhesive right over and then you have a perfect image there. So I would just roll some, uh, this is American Crafts, this to that. I really, I really like this adhesive, it's pretty fun. I like the little dots and you can roll them off easily if you get them on the wrong place. So just, you know, you could do pop dots, you could do glue dots, any kind of adhesive. I kind of just make sure it's not sticking out anywhere. And then I just go right over the image. And now we have a glued down and he's got his eyelash back. Ooh, is he focused? There we go. 
Um, and but he's got this funky pattern on him, so I really like that. Um, so, anyways, that is Critters in the Snow. Um, I I think you guys are just gonna love this set. It's so fun, and like I said, it really does um, not just work in winter time, but it works all year because people love these love these critters. And you could kind of change the polar bear to a brown bear, or Rudolph can be just a deer running through the forest. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoy a grown up Francois. He's finally a stamp. And and, um, and you're going to enjoy all the samples. Make sure to head on over to the blog, lawnfawn.blogspot.com, to enter to win. I hope you have an amazing day, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye!